I'm going to show you how you upload a photo from an iPhone. You might want to do this if you're creating an app which takes photos and needs to upload those photos, or indeed any type of file from a device. You'll learn how to take photos from your iPhone or Android camera, how to access the device's photo library, how to upload using FTP, and how to display progress during the upload. I started out with a new main stack in MobGUI Open, and I'm going to add the MobGUI library code and set the stack to be Retina. And drag out a button and I'm going to label that button Take Photo. I'm going to put it in the middle of the screen and size it to be a little bit bigger. And then go into the code. And I'm going to put into our touch end handler here. First thing I'm going to do is going to go out and do mobile pick photo to take a photo. Now if I want to go to the camera, I just put camera in here. But because I'm going to be demoing this on the simulator, I'm just going to show you taking the snapshot from the library. If it is cancel, then exit touch end. Now I've got an FTP URL which I've constructed on the clipboard. I'm just going to paste that in. I'm going to put that into the URL. Constructing FTP URLs has to be done very carefully on iOS, and I've discussed how to do it properly in a bit more detail on the resources page that goes with this video. Put URL encode the short name of last image, the image that we just snapshot after the URL. So we're going to use that as the file name. Now I'm going to create a group to show progress. So I'm just going to drag this out. Again, put it roughly in the middle, make the group a bit bigger. And I'm going to call this group progress. Also, we don't need it to be visible, so I'm just going to turn the visible off. Set the U value of group progress to zero to reset that. Set the layer of group progress to the number of controls. So layer it to be on top of everything else. Show group progress. Because if we don't layer it, then it'll be underneath the image that we just took from the camera. Put last image into URL, the URL. So that's what does our FTP upload. If the result is not empty, then answer the result. We've had some sort of error. And hide group progress. And then finally, we just need to show progress during the upload on URL progress, P URL, P status, P bytes done, and P bytes total. If P status is uploading, then set the U value of group progress. So we want to work out the percentage it's done. So round P bytes done divided by P bytes total times 100. Otherwise, hide group progress. The upload has obviously been completed or there's been an error and answer P status. So that's our code written. And I'm just going to go into the controls here and put in a backdrop, go into standalone settings, and I'm going to call, I'm going to set up to build for iOS. And if I press the test button and load it up, I should now have a good looking stack. And if I press take photo, it brings up my library. I can choose a photo, the progress bar comes up, and it uploads to my FTP client. And you can see it, in fact, uploading. If I open my FTP client, you can see the FTP site. That's it uploading there, and that's it uploaded.